Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have created or received copies of a shared workbook into which different users have made different changes, you can take those workbook files and merge the changes together into a single workbook. There are a few requirements that the files must meet before you can merge them together. First, all merged workbooks must be copies of the original shared workbook. They must all have different file names, but must all be located in the same folder. They cannot have passwords applied to them. They must also have change tracking in effect since the copies were created, and they must have been tracking the change history. Also note that if you merge multiple copies, changes in the last workbook copy that you merge will replace any conflicting changes in the workbook into which you are merging. To merge shared workbooks, make sure that you have all of the copies to be merged together located in the same folder with different file names. Next, you will need to add a button to the Quick Access Toolbar for this function, which does not appear in the ribbon. To do this, click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button at the right end of the Quick Access Toolbar. Then choose the More Commands choice from the Buttons drop-down menu. In the Excel Options window that appears, select the All Commands choice from the Choose Commands From drop-down menu. Then scroll through the list of commands until you find the Compare and Merge Workbooks command. Click it to select it and then click the Add button to move it into the list at the right side. Then click the OK button to finish. Next, click the Compare and Merge Workbooks button in the Quick Access Toolbar. You can save the workbook if prompted to do so. That will then launch the Select Files to Merge into Current Workbook dialog box. Here you can select the copies of the workbook to merge into the open copy or original shared workbook. Note that if you do select more than one copy in this dialog box, the order in which they appear will be the order in which they are merged into the open workbook. When you have finished selecting the file or files to merge into the open workbook, click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.